Soccer Universe. The AFCON kicks off today and I guess it's time to show you another African shirt of mine. Uh, there are quite a few out there that I think I recorded for the last AFCON already, so you can find them on the playlist of my collection. But you know, I want to show you a few more and uh, the one I want to show you, you saw it in the thumbnail, is the Ghana 2014 away jersey, which is a red one which I when I got it I was actually going for I really wanted to get a Ghana shirt now uh, to me I always loved in the 90s Ghana had some really amazing jerseys that were yellow and then with the Ghana colors and a little bit black on there with the black star um, but the next time I really was aware of Ghana they suddenly played in white for, uh, for home churches which of course was for 2006 World Cup and then 2010 and you know uh, ever thereafter which I was never such a fan of. Of course, now I would like to have one of these shirts. Uh, but I remember when I looked for African shirts, I was looking at three Ghana shirts, four, not three. I was looking at this one. Then I was looking at the 2006 home, which uh, is white in, with, with a black star, because I was intrigued. And then there was a player issue um, shirt uh, also from that area, but uh, in black which would have been uh, really interesting and this was a player issue as well um, so I kind of was going back and forth but in the end I then decided you know color wise I now I do but back then I didn't have any red African shirts so I said if I want to put African shirts up there I better want to get a red one and I I have to say I really liked in 2014 this design. I think the Ghana shirt after Cameroon was the next best thing with this overall pattern on there. And if you go closer, it, you can read that it says Ghana, uh, black stars and so on uh, all over. Then there of course are the black stars for Cameroon. They had the um, uh, Lions in there. Uh, all the other teams actually had the pattern, you know, the Ivory Coast had the patterns over here on the sleeves, which I found a little bit uh, boring. So uh, that was for me one sell, it's, it's a selling point. To be honest, my ideal Ghana shirt, the one that, um, you know, I have been lusting after for a while and I, I recently I could, I could have gotten it again, but I decided then also to not get it, mainly, mainly because of price, was of course the 2010 away jersey, which was also red with a little bit yellow and a little bit green, um, which, you know, at some point, if I see it, I may or may not get, get it, but I, I really like this one. Now, of course, I would like to have a home jersey and I have to see what's out there. I don't like the current one. Uh, as well. But what makes this version special is that this is a player version, a uh, player issue version, however not the tight-fitting uh, Evo knit pattern but a slightly looser version. Uh, you can see this because uh, this is heat printed on um, and also in general it's a little bit um, uh, much lighter material on the back it is uh, rather plain um, the other uh, and you know all the uh, logos are heat applied I'm not sure if not the inside this is something that uh, yeah it has the tags here on the inside of course but uh, these details but most Puma, Puma shirts had it uh, there but this is uh, Puma me uh, my, me me style my style in, 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 in a way and, and, and that kind of intrigued me although I'm always a little bit worried with the heat with this um, plastic transfer logos that this will come, come off uh, eventually so I'm uh, rather careful. Another really nice feature of course are the sleeve cuffs here and part of me wishes that there would be a jersey that had all these colors you know where the, where the stars uh, it's the same pattern as the stars and this was all colorful this is of course on the home jersey they have it uh, over here honestly I'm not so fond of the home jersey from 2014 work because I find it a little bit weird this pattern so uh, this is a much more palatable shirt there's also a nice uh, feature on of this shirt that this was one of the few times that Germany did not perform very, very well and Ghana actually had them almost beaten at that World Cup and uh, Germany ended up being world champions whereas Ghana crashed out in the group stage. Uh, that was the one good showing of Ghana during that World Cup. But yeah, it is a jersey I am quite fond of. I have now said many jerseys that I, I want to have. Of course, uh, with 2010 away um, it would, would be nice but you know since I uh, co collect mostly home jerseys although I has only the you know this one has the lion here and the Ghana shirt is more or less lion like this one has only a black star here which yeah was a little bit of a downer in a way but okay it 
it is on my list as well. I am surely Ghana is one of those nations that I probably would want to have a second shirt sooner or later to add to my African core collection. I'm just waiting for one that's a little bit more spectacular uh, or, you know, has some more emotional value to me. But as a start, I have to say, I really liked it. I mean, I, I really love this all over print. It is absolutely beautiful uh, and makes it very unique in many ways. And for that reason, I love it. And let's see how Ghana will perform at this year's AFCON. Any case, let me know what you think about this jersey or about any of the other Ghana shirts that I talked about. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.